Hi, and welcome to this quick learning video about LFPAC 3x3. My name is Ivan Petrov and I'm a product marketing engineer in Xperia Semiconductors in Manchester, UK. In this quick learning video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, how MOSFET packaging has evolved and then delve into a bit more detail in the LFPAC 3x3 and outline its uh, benefits in automotive. Now, just giving a slight introduction of all the packages such as DPAC, which has been introduced in uh, 1990. It has a single source and a single gate pin, and also the technology inside is uh, wire bonded. Now, the main drawback of this package is that the wire bonds have significantly contributed to higher resistance of the package. Now, in order to tackle this issue, in 2003, LFPAC uh, 5x6 has been created with its copper clip technology, which is directly connected to three source pins and a single gate pin. Also on the top, you can see the drain tap, which is directly soldered on the PCB. Uh, for more information, please visit my colleague Norman's uh, Stapleberg video, where he explains in a bit more detail how LFPAC and uh, copper technology works. So in terms of LFPAC 3x3, um, it has a smaller footprint compared to 5x6 and definitely from DPAC. 70% smaller footprint uh, compared to DPAC. Um, however, the technology inside is the same as in uh, LFPAC 5x6. Also, it does have three source pins and one gate pin, which makes it uh, a very useful package. And now to delve into a bit more detail um, in terms of LFPAC 3x3, it has been introduced in 2016. Um, also, as I said, it benefits from the same copper clip technology such as in the LFPAC 5x6. The universal footprint has been made to match existing PQFN 3x3 packages um, and it has been estimated to be around 10.9 mm squared. In the time of introduction, uh, the lowest resistance of the package has been estimated to be 6 milliohms. Uh, which significantly uh, reduces uh, throughout time. Um, the external leads of this package are beneficial for optical inspection and for temperature cycling. Speaking about temperature cycling and more specifically board level reliability tests and stresses, the package performs really well during those and these include temperature cycling from minus 40 to 125 uh, degrees Celsius, also bend uh, tests and vibration tests. What's important to note about the package is that uh, the, the exposed leads tend to uh, expand during temperature cycling and this is important because in temperature demanding applications such as uh, in, in powertrain, for example in engine management and transmission control, it's important to have this uh, ability to absorb the stresses. Um, in, in contrast, uh, PQFN 3x3, for example, where you have a minor um, pins uh, at the bottom, they don't have much, uh, much space to expand. While with the gluing, you have much more freedom to absorb the stresses. Now with this, I would like to uh, thank you for your attention and please, for more information, visit uh, nexperia.com. Thank you.